Hey Gemini, welcome to your June 2018 Who's My Future Partner reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Care. Welcome back. So nice to see everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to become part of my community here on YouTube. I always focus on my tribe first and foremost when I meditate and shuffle the cards. Let's do a little sage smudge here. Oh, it smells so amazing. All right, and let's jump in. My May love readings are still available over on Vimeo. They're really um, awesome. I included a lot of extra um, spreads for you for May. All right, let's see. Um, and clarified. So check those out if you're interested. All right. My beautiful Gemini's. You know, I just did Taurus's reading and they're fated, I would say for the most majority of them, to meet a Gemini. <laughs> you may want to check out their reading because um, I'm seeing a lot of earth energy here. Okay. Um, Totally. I mean, not only here with the Queen and the Page of Pentacles, she also had the Hierophant. Wow. You need to check out that reading. Uh, they also have the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Star. I think you guys are definitely... Wow. I think Taurians and Geminis are definitely going to be hooking up in June. So I don't want to hear any weird comments how... This sign hates that sign and blah, 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 because you never know. There's so many. Um, when I first started studying astrology, the biggest thing that I learned was, yeah, you can't character, characterize a person just by their sun sign. Every planet is super significant and their placement um, in a person's astrological chart to really kind of define who they are. What's their rising sign? Where is Venus in their chart? You know, what's their moon sign? So uh, be open-minded because this is really incredible. I cannot get over the synchronicity here. So check it out uh, when you're done with this reading, if that works for you. Don't have to. Um, your main oracle card is Clean It Up. And this is about getting to the core of a situation, freedom from burden, Right, maybe you need to clean house, sleep, uh, sweeping away what no longer serves you. There is an element here of you shifting and changing for the entire situation. It's almost as if, or for your life, I should say. With the Queen of Pentacles as your overall energy and the Page of Pentacles here, I feel like there's an opportunity for huge growth, um, not only personally, but in, in, the, in a new relationship. Ten of Swords. Who is this person and what are they like? Okay. Um, ending of a cycle. This person could be an air sign. Okay. Who maybe has been portrayed in relationships in the past. Um, or has gone through a really, really hard time. And they're letting go. They're letting go um, of what no longer serves them. Or they're healing. Um, through this process and it's almost as if there's an essence here that maybe you're in this same place okay um, and if not doesn't matter good to clean house it's the springtime anyway it's autumn um, in the southern hemisphere it's always good to you know check in with yourself um, get rid of whatever no longer serves you even cleaning out your closets giving stuff away to the goodwill it really brings in a new sense of uh, freedom and fresh energy um, which is going to be needed especially meeting this person who is definitely closing the door uh, to their sp past so to speak or maybe you know um, had a hard time recently okay um, how will you meet? It's the star card. Wow. I feel like you could meet this person. Maybe an Aquarian introduces you. Another air sign element here. Um, 
that comes in almost like an angel, so to speak, because the star card is the wish card. So it's almost as if I feel like you've been hoping and wishing for this person and that, you know, you've been filled with hope and optimism and, you know, overcoming struggles from your past and now ready to, to move forward in some kind of wish fulfillment. Okay. So one foot in front of the other, you know, one step at a time is the best way to shift and grow your energy by staying really grounded here. Um, because there's a plan. This person's going to bring you, you know, I'm also hearing that, um, you're going to, you know, pay attention to your aha moments. You're going to have a certain revelation, okay, as far as even what you really even want in a mate, okay? So stay connected to that that inner quality. Um, that you have, you know, where you're optimistic that, you know, I want to go with the flow here, but I know, um, I need to replenish, right? And that's part of this energy here by cycling, um, having trust and faith, right? You can see in the star card how she, uh, manipulates the water. I don't know if manipulates the right word, but she knows when she tips her hand and pours the water, more water is going to come and then she can keep, right, keep giving and receiving, giving and receiving. So stay optimistic, stay positive here. There's amazing new beginnings coming in. Okay, here we go again with this um, whole Torian thing. Okay, what is your first impression of this person? Okay, you've received the Hierophant who is a hope, hope, pope-like figure, um, represented here by like the high priest. So this person could be very conventional. This person could be very religious. Um, this person could be searching for meaning in their life, right? Especially after some kind of betrayal, um, looking for their purpose, looking for their soulmate. But there's somebody that's really grounded. They're, they're grounded in this, this Taurian energy, which I feel like you're being really asked to connect, right? Connect to the Queen of Pentacles here, that Mother Earth energy where you're being asked to balance, right? Going back to this stuff, balance your family, nurture your family and your amazing successful career that you have. This is a very um, advanced high woman here. You know, she's coming in here to assist you, okay, to grow through this situation. So, Taurus, okay, religious person, somebody that knows something, how to honor their own traditions in their life. Could even be like a spiritual mentor to you. Maybe even somebody that... Maybe you meet through a group. A group of um, uh, uh, friends or an organization. Or maybe you join a gym. Or you know, maybe you join a church group. Or a book club or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And bam, let me tell you. How will they affect you? Ace of Pentacles. Tangible, solid, new beginning here. Okay. You know, I'm wondering, too, if you could meet this person through work for, for some of you as well. So you get a lot of Pentacles, tangible um, energy here as well for some of you could be possible. Um, brand new beginning. This is beautiful. And this this is very has the potential to be very long-lasting. But, you know, like any ace, it's a new beginning, so you have to take action. Um, but this is how it's going to affect you. So you're going to feel like, wow, you know, this person's making me feel brand new. This is a brand new start. I love this person. I like this person. <clears throat> I want to get to know this person. And it's almost like you're giddy. You're the young uh, queen of pentacles over here, you know. 
um, savoring your new beginnings, right? Feeling inspired and feeling like, you know what? Yeah, you know, I feel like I got the go ahead here, you know, and it's almost as if you're ready to manifest your dreams and your goals, you know, to, to get to this point in, in this relationship Okay, and the potential that it really truly holds for you. Um, pentacle cards all about manifestation. And how we create, right? And how we change our lives and, and grow. This is all about transformation. Now, don't take yourself too seriously. You have the Three of Cups here. Okay, in your obstacles, so, you know, maybe you're just feeling like you don't want to be part of a community or you don't feel your relationships are harmonious or maybe you just need to get out and be a little bit more social, especially if there's an opportunity here to meet this person. I still feel it's a Taurian. You definitely need to listen to the Taurian um, reading. There's definitely some significance here because I was telling them, you know, you need to get out. You know, if you have an opportunity to go somewhere, go. <laughs> you, know? Um, you know, sometimes you just feel untied. You're like, I don't want to go out. Well, the one time you pass it up, you could be missing fate. Um, this is a lot of that energy here um, to meet somebody new. If you want it, okay? If this sounds like somebody that you would be attracted to, and who wouldn't be? I mean, I mean, he's coming through here, the cards, to let you know that they're available to meet you. This, this is your fate. This is your destiny for June. So don't be a hermit. Get out there. Final outcome, page of swords. Another page. You have one? Well, two pages. Okay, more messages, more communication coming in here. You know, don't be pessimistic. Don't be like, ah, yeah, well, I don't know. This is going to work out, you know. Um, there's a need to communicate here. Okay, so maybe you're just not sure where you stand with this person. You know they're dealing with a lot. And that that is a lot to ask um, of somebody new, especially if this person has baggage. you got your own baggage. You're cleaning it up. You're shifting and growing. It's like you're two people that maybe are uh, both in a trans transitional stage. But that's okay because you can take your time and get to know each other Um I feel like you're open to it. What's going on with the uh, this Torian? I feel like they're going to be very attracted. Here's here's what they're saying. This is kind of funny. This is flip flop. This is this here font. Okay, this Torian feels like you're an Earth sign, and I know you're Gemini. I know you're you're an Air sign, but there's an element here where they're attracted to the essence of what you could bring into the relationship, the maturity, the, the, um, the fact that you can balance um, home and uh, balance your life. Balance your life. Remember we talked about that earlier? So I think it's wonderful. Let's see what the lover's cards say. This is the Romance Angel Oracle Cards by Dorian Virtue. Get ready. A nice shift. Oop. That card kind of wanted to flip out, but didn't quite make it. All right. What is the Romance Angel Oracle message for our lovely Geminis for June 2018?
Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay. Well, that's okay. I mean, there may be a state, you know, a point where you have to decide, like I was saying earlier, okay, that, look, there's endings here, the worst is over, and there's new beginnings. So this person come in your life, and they may not want to be able to, or available to move forward right away. That's the hesitation that I'm hearing. Um, but this this new beginning, this it will iron itself out. It will definitely iron itself out by the end of June. Um, I was going to do, let's see what's under the Queen of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, I love it. Okay, your time to receive, Gemini. And so well deserved. And I love how the scales are balanced. There's a certain amount of justice meeting this person coming into your life. Lots of money. <sighs> yeah, look at this. Oh, my Lord. Oh, will you look at this? Oh, and this sun card underneath that. Look at all this money. First of all, you got money, money, money everywhere. Here you have the Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. There's some kind of essence here um, about you needing to get grounded, okay? Um, and th this, let's look here first before I jump too far ahead, okay? This is what's blowing my mind because I was immediately drawn to the scales of justice. And I love the Six of Pentacles because that always tells me that justice is now being served, okay? That you've done your part in the past, whether it was two days ago, five years ago, okay? It's your time now to receive. And what was right under that is, is justice. So this is a double whammy. This is so positive. This is so amazing. There's karmic justice here as well for you. And look how the colors, the purple is kind of similar here. This is really amazing. Gemini, I love these cards. And you're going to reap what you sow. I keep hearing money. Like, I think this person's going to have money. They're going to be financially stable. Okay. Which is, you know, you know, it's funny. It's almost as if there's a certain element of this beautiful entrepreneurial um, energy of both of you together. However, I feel like this hair font is a little bit older and mature maybe for you, more of a established relationship. However, I feel like there's some growth here between the two of you where you could really advance and grow as a couple and have a wonderful life together. But there's a certain sense of justice for you specifically, Gemini, that you deserve at this point in time in your life. And I love this energy. What else am I picking up here? Yeah, it's almost as if, because now they're showing me the page of swords. Just don't see how the swords are, oops, see how the swords are kind of raised. They both have their, just, just don't be a typical, you know, pessimistic self, okay, don't get caught up in overthinking, okay, overthinking that it, it's not going to work out, okay, um, yes, you can be on guard, you, you know, I don't blame you for wanting to protect your own interests, um, not really knowing maybe initially where you stand with this person because they have their baggage, however, give the person a chance because I think it's going to work out, and it's almost as if you are wanting to serve justice here for yourself. You know what I mean? Um, this is blowing my mind. This is, and look at the Ten of Pentacles underneath. This is complete family harmony. This is having it all. Okay, so there's a nice journey here for you through um, this relationship to, to master what you want, get what you want, have family, legacy, marriage, pets, home, stability. It's beautiful. Very, very nice. Really blown away by that. And look, the sun underneath that, death and transformation. You both are going through a transformation. We talked about that earlier. Dude, this is a really cool reading. I really, really like it. Wow. Children even, maybe. Wow. <laughs> 
yeah, I'm getting all kinds of crazy mess. It's like us, like, yeah, some of you could be bringing in a baby even into the world. Um, cause you got children, see the children, children. Amazing. Really incredible reading. Um, this was here. Let me see what else I'm picking up on here for you. Don't worry about the separation. It's going to be fine. Let's, let's see what was on the bottom of the deck. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah, I don't know about that. I probably shouldn't even look there, but I just want to see if there's any other messages coming in for you, Gemini. I think that's really it. I mean, it's a really cool reading. Um, clean it up. Let me see what we got here. Um, yeah, ever feel like you're bogged down with emotional gunk that you can't think straight? Could you be surrounded by physical clutter? Talked about that earlier, feeling overwhelmed, time to clean house, get unpaid bills settled. Make room for the miracles that are lining up for you. Yeah, they want you to get ready. They definitely want you to get ready to meet this person. Oh, fudge. I just spilt my, knocked my candle. Um, yeah. The wax went all over. I don't want it on my books. I'm so sorry, Gemini. Anyway, listen, I think it's a fabulous reading. You need to get ready to meet this person. They're coming. And there's a certain amount of destiny here. So, um, take the time out, okay, to do what you need to do. Remember I was saying that in the, earlier in the reading, okay, that you got, you got to clean up your own stuff before you deal with anybody else with their stuff. But it, I think it's kind of cool because I think you'll be able to relate to one another um, in, you know, coming together to meet, to move forward um, as a couple, okay? So... Oh, sorry, Gemini, a little, a little all over the map here, but we're cool. We'll see you in July. God bless, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.